What's up guys, welcome back to the Detail Garage. Now if you've been following our mini series on this Chevy Cruze, you saw that we washed it, we removed a sticker, and we also did some light interior cleaning. And now we're moving on to the exterior because there's some scratches, swirls, some embedded water spots that we want to remove, and we're going to do that today. Javier and myself using the Torque 10 FX in Orange Pad, and we're also going to do something we've never done. We're going to go over each and every single one of these V-Line polishes to explain what they do and how to choose them. Now to start off our detail, we clayed this Cruze using our medium clay bar and that removed any of the embedded contaminants that give it a rough feeling and it also enhances the shine. But after inspecting the paint, we can see there's tons of swirls and scratches, some water spots, and other things that have etched the paint. Now starting over here, we have the most aggressive compound being V32. This is intended for really deep scratches and swirls, uh, wet sanding marks, and anything that's actually really clouded the paint, like some serious oxidation. And then you move your way down from V32 to V34, which is a hybrid compound, which is uh, less abrasive, for minor scratches and swirls, or if you have to do polishing from V32, you need to work your way down from V32 all the way down to V38. And then the go-to is V36. This is a cutting compound as well as a polish. It's enhanced to shine. Sometimes you can use that as a one-step polish because it has the fine abrasives that break down the paint to bring back factory shine. And lastly, we have V38. Now this is a jeweling polish that helps remove any light oxidation, scratches and swirls, tiger stripes, or if you're doing a two-step polish, is that final touch to bring back a factory shine. Now our go-to method for today is going to be an orange hex logic pad with V36. So we're going to start off by taking V36 and shaking it up, and then we're going to apply five dime size drops to our pad. Now we always go with five dime size drops because this is going to give us enough polish to cover a certain area, about two by two, and this will refine the paintwork to bring back a factory shine. And then we're also going to spray the pad with some pad conditioner, and this is going to help moisturize the pad so we don't install any marring, and it's also going to help reduce the friction so we don't burn the paint. So we'll take it over to the vehicle. Now as you can see over here, we have the hood taped off. This is to show you guys the before and after of a scratch and swirl against the polish side. And by polishing it, we're going to remove those scratches and swirls to bring back that factory shine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blotch this out, and then on the lowest speed setting, I'll spread it out, and then we can start polishing on speed setting 6 to bring back that high shine.
are going to go over the polishing steps on this Chevy Cruze. Okay, sweet. All right, ready? Three, two. So we just got done polishing. Uh, we just got. Uh. <laughs> Okay, okay. So now you're revealing a new deep wet shine and also giving it an extra layer of protection. So if you guys like this video, please give us a like. Also subscribe and leave a comment down below see what kind of videos you guys want to see next. So we'll see you next time. <laughs> we're gonna use Instawax and you're gonna spread it with our blue applicator pad. That way we don't accidentally get it on the plastic and accidentally stain it. This works on headlights, paint, even glass. So just with a couple sprays, <laughs> why does it just look different? I, shook mine up. I didn't shake mine, damn it.